For years, mullet have evaded me, eluded me, swam right past my bait. I know it's frustrating, I know it's annoying, but today I'm here for revenge and uh, I'm going to show you how to catch a mullet. Basically, the strategy for today is to go for a really, really light tackle. Uh, mullet have extremely sensitive mouths, so you want to go as light as you can without going with hairline, you know? I found the smallest hook that I got. Uh, it's right there. It's almost 6 o'clock, so it's just feeding time is coming perfect right now. And the fact that I can see them rippling on the surface means their little mouths are going along the top, uh, which means my bread should be almost perfect. So yeah, I definitely see a whole bunch here. So really light tackle, really small stuff, very delicate, and then play the fish in. Now here are six steps to help you catch a mullet. Number one, find the fish. Remember, mullet are surface feeders. If you can't see them, they're not there. Number two, take cover. Mullet are skittish, mullet are shy, and they spook very, very easily. Try to find cover behind a boat, jetty, pier, or basically anything other than the bank. Number three, start a feed. This is the only way that I've been able to successfully catch mullet in the past. Throw just enough bread to keep them around, but not so much that seagulls and other pesky critters will come to you. Number four, cast strategically. Mullet are very skittish and scared. If you cast on top of them, they're going to be scared. Number five, float your bread. Now this is something that I discovered on this trip that I filmed on, and that is, if you're putting balls of bread on, they're going to sink, and that's no good. I've caught them in the past like that, but it takes forever. Best thing to do is to take a little bit of crust and just hook it simply on the hook. The hook can be showing, and somehow it seems to work. Finally, number six, and the biggest step in mullet fishing, you just have to wait. If you can wait and wait and wait, your chances are just going to increase and increase and increase. There we go. Finally. There we go. Took long enough. Now I want to add a seventh step, and this is super important. Don't get overexcited when after hours of waiting you finally catch one. The worst thing you could do is to forget the light tackle and soft-lipped fish that you're dealing with. Ah, look at that. Oh. One again. I'm just trying to play the fish right now because I lost. <gasps> I lost the last one from uh, trying to pull it in too fast. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. You can tell when it's getting tired, when it starts swimming on this uh, side and now it's back. Uh, and this is called playing the fish, which is something I don't do very often, but uh, I have really light gear and I don't want to lose this fish. Just about ready to come in. Mm. 
There it is guys, that is how you finally catch an elusive mullet. They are so annoying and it is such a victory to finally get one. I'm gonna let it go now.